Hey everybody, today we are talking about how to dilute thieves cleaner. Yes, so how many of you guys are confused about the ratios that are on the back of the thieves household cleaner bottle? 30 it, parts water, one part cleaner, 15 parts water. Confusing? Yes. It can get a little confusing, so we are making it super simple. So first we're going to start off with the light degreasing ratio. So when you see on the back, it says light degreasing. What you're going to do is you're going to add three cups of water to one cap full of cleaner. This is the easiest way to do it. Now, I'm normally not a measuring person. I would just pour this in the bottle, but yes. to, for this video's sake, we're going to use a funnel. So you guys, you guys can see right here, we're going to put in three cups of water. We already pre-measured this out. So we have one cup. Oh, it's being a little slow. There we go. Two. And then this is our third cup of water. And then we will add one cap full of Thieves Cleaner. So you just get the cap right here. You get your Thieves Cleaner, you pour it into a cap. Normally, I don't have to use a funnel, but we're just using it, like I said, for the video. So we don't make a splash. So we don't make a splash. <laughs> but normally, I'm totally, I never spill at my house. So that is your light degreasing ratio. This is the cute bottle that you can get free with your essential rewards orders. Look I how cute it is. It says Thieves Cleaner. It has a degreasing ratio on the bottle. It's absolutely mm -hmm. beautiful. I love that it's clear. So you can yes. see what you've got you to work with. You can see what you've got here. to work with. And you want to make sure that when you're cleaning with Thieves Cleaner, you want to use a glass, a glass spray bottle, a chemical resistant spray bottle, like a chemical or a chemical resistant plastic bottle because the Thieves Cleaner has essential oils in it and you don't want those essential oils to eat away at the plastic right. uh, because they will do that. So a little tip that I have is I actually use my old, you can see it right here, let me go right here. You can see my old Thieves Cleaning bottle right here. Once it's empty, I will reuse this and add a squirt top and I will use this to clean my house with it. So that's a little cleaning hack that you can do. Mm -hmm. So that's your light degreasing ratio. What you clean with your light degreasing ratio are things like windows, mirrors, maybe surfaces that are a little bit more porous or yeah. more fragile. Maybe you'd want to clean like granite or you'd want to clean like uh, anything that's got a delicate surface. Delicate surface. could do any damage to. Yes. So you, that's what you want to use this for. Things that are, don't have as heavy of a stain. Right. All right, so I'm gonna walk you through the medium ratio, and that is two cups, so two eight ounce cups of water. Let's put one cup in <laughs> to one capful of Thieves Household Cleaner. Thank you. And I'm normally not a measurer, I just eyeball okay, it. Let's be so real. you guys can eyeball it too. <laughs> we don't measure at home, but you get the idea. We want it to be professional in our video, so just so for those of you who are measurers, you can follow us. The rest of us, we're all eyeballers at home. So this is the medium dilution ratio, and it is good for pretty much everything. I use this for my kitchens, bathrooms, countertops, that type of thing. It smells amazing. Another mm -hmm. use that I have for this, if any of you have hardwood floors at home, they smell amazing after cleaning them with Thieves Household Cleaner. And when I'm doing floors like that, I'll use hot water and with the same ratio of dilution. Spray it down and then do my mopping. This is your most versatile ratio, like Leslie Definitely. said. You use this, if you're one in doubt on what ratio to use, use the medium this degreasing ratio. And then finally, how to dilute. Using the heavy degreasing ratio, you put one cup of water to one cap of Thieves Cleaner. So we will as you can see, we're adding one cup of water to one cap of cleaner. And what you want to use this type of degreasing ratio for are for harsh stains. So say you have a harsh stain on your carpet, um, maybe some food that's stuck on a high chair, or some of your bigger stains that you need maybe to let it sit longer, or they need just some more elbow work in, use the heavy degreasing ratio. I've used the heavy degreasing ratio quite a bit actually. I even use it for my laundry. Mm -hmm. So I, in my laundry room I have one of these and I fill it up with water and then I put like two to three caps of these cleaner in this and then I just keep it in my laundry room and I squirt all my stains on any of my shirts, especially my little boy's clothes because he is just a giant mess. <laughs> I spray it on all the stains, throw them in the washer and then they always come out looking super clean. 
So that is how you dilute Thieves Cleaner, the three simple ways. It's very simple and very easy. Absolutely. So I hope this has been really helpful for you guys. Actually, let's talk let's, about this. Oh my gosh, are you We're guys talk about this? I love the new singles. Do you want to talk about Yes, it? let's talk about the new singles. So the new singles, you can buy these in a 30 packet. And what you can do is it's basically samples of Thieves Cleaner. So sachets of Thieves Cleaner. So if someone's new mm -hmm. uh, to Young Living, maybe they want to try out Thieves Cleaner before they actually invest in buying a whole bottle. Uh, you can just hand these out to your team members. You can give these out. They're great Thieves sharing simple. tools. They're there's, simple. There's 10 in a box. Mm -hmm. And you can you actually, in the new premium starter kits, you'll get a sample of Thieves Cleaner in the new starter kit. Love so that. people ask, okay, so how much is in this? What do I use with this? And we actually put the other one, the little sample right here, the little sachet. Oh, the one that I was cleaning up. Oh, it's right here. It fell. It fell. That's, that's why. It's fine. So here's the sachet. So we, we took this out. There's one fluid ounce. And so in each pack, you have about three, three and, and a half caps of Thieves Cleaner. So three and a half caps of Thieves Cleaner, you can dilute that out and make three bottles of medium degreasing ratio. Uh, you can so to make three separate bottles of cleaner or you can grab that 32 ounce you can actually make This is a big 32 ounce bottle and it's a chemical resistant plastic You can just get this like honestly. I think we got this at Walmart uh, You can so you can fill this up all the way to the top and add those three a full, pack a full packet of this and you'll have a heavy degreasing bottle so those are just a few ways to use it or you can just use a one cap at a time and then a little hack that you can do is you can paper clip it closed so you can keep it for later use. So you say you use one cap, you can keep the rest in here and wait till you want to use it again. As long as you try to prop it up right and yep. put it back in the package. So you get about three, like we said, about three and a half capfuls of Thieves Cleaner in here. So there you go. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Good save. So thanks you guys for watching. I hope this was super helpful for you. And one, uh, switching gears a little bit, one thing I wanted to give a shout out to you guys who have been working on the Help 5. The goal of Help 5, for those of you who don't know, is to earn five points. And how do you get points? You get points by enrolling somebody new with a PSK or a new enrollment on Essential Rewards. You get one point for doing either one of those things. You get five points and you get an incentive uh, the following month. So ever since this program launched, the Help 5 ER enrollments are at an all-time high. And we've seen 16% increase Which in monthly enrollment. Which is huge. That's amazing, right? It's huge, That is yes. awesome. So keep up the good work, Keep you up guys. the good Congratulations work. Congratulations on that. And good luck with Help 5 this coming month. So we hope this helped c clear some confusion about how you dilute these cleaner. Uh, it's really simple, and you don't have to be exact. We right. used funnels, and we measured out the water exactly. But when I'm at home, I can just eyeball it. And I say, okay, I have about... Let's see, three cups of water in here. I'm going to add, you know, one and a half to two capfuls of these cleaner. Which is so, one of the things I love about our product because mm -hmm. it is chemical free, all natural based. You don't have to worry about, okay, yes. well, how much damage am I doing? Mm -hmm. there, there's no worry about that. Safe for pets. No harsh for, chemicals. Yeah. I literally just have these cleaner underneath my kitchen sink. This and the dishwasher detergent, I love using that in replace of baking soda. Yes. But that's all I have underneath my countertop, so I never have to worry if I'm in my room and my son's playing in the kitchen or my dog's in the kitchen and they're getting underneath the sink. You I don't have, have anything to, to worry about. to clean. Yeah. <laughs> Such a great peace of mind. So comment below if you have any other questions about Thieves Cleaner. Next week, we are posting a video uh, that's answering all the most common questions we get about Thieves Cleaner, the FAQs about Thieves Cleaner. So stay tuned for that next week, and hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.